Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Stan. In this one, I want to talk about my update to the build with stainless steel tubes. Uh, there's a handful of videos I made in the last several weeks about bending, cutting stainless steel tubes, and I was trying to convert my glass tube built, water cool build, to stainless steel tubes. Uh, I had a little mishap with the Bits Power brass brass tubes that's uh, chrome plated. Um, the bending, long story short, the bending just didn't turn out very good. So I moved on to stainless steel tubes. This is 12 millimeter OD, uh, one millimeter wall thickness, 304 stainless tubes I bought on eBay. There's really no water cooling specific vendor for stainless steel tubes. It's, these are just truly industrial uh, tubes. Now, as you can see here, I've got a vertical GPU with a CPU loop and a GPU loop. And the way I've, I've originally built this was to kind of have crisscrossing tubes and crisscrossing lines. Now this is the build I've actually had for several years now. I've been continuously upgrading. Up until now, I was actually using glass tubing for, for this build. And these runs were generally made out of glass. The components I'm not changing, the water cool loop configuration I'm not changing, I'm merely changing it from glass to stainless steel tubes. Uh, for this build, I've got a 3960X Threadripper on a Zenith 2 Extreme with, again, this is an ancient GPU, I know, but this is a 1080 Ti in a dual loop configuration. I got one loop going to the top two radiators for the CPU and then the, the other loop going to the bottom two radiators for the GPU. And you can see here, when I built this loop, I went for a little bit of symmetry when, when, when designing the loop because I've got two lines that kind of go out and into the back to connect to the rest. I've got, I'm going to have two lines that come out parallel to each other coming out into the GPU and CPU and then two lines that go out to the two radiators. Before, they were rigid hard tubing with 90 degree turns and everything with the glass again, but now that I'm using stainless steel tubing, it's got a little bit more organic curvature in there, which I really do like. And you can see here, the tubes themselves are a little bit more brushed than actually polished. Uh, you can see this is the texture on the tubes. I can certainly polish this out into something a little bit more chrome, like the Bits Power tubes. Uh, you can see this is shiny chrome. However, I thought about that. However, I've got two stainless steel tubes already built into these reservoirs. These reservoirs are the, uh, I think it's Aqua Computer Aqualis reservoirs, and they've got a stainless steel brush to them already. So I thought it'd be pretty nice to keep this motif going, the stainless steel brush, stainless steel, and this brush stainless steel uh, going, and the shiny fittings. So it kind of matches. So. Um, I guess what I'm saying is it's going to be less work on my part. <laughs> so, any case, uh, that's the front. The only thing I really need to do left is to rechange the glass tubing here, here, and then tube up the back as well. Um, I can certainly cheat out and use flex hose tubing or acrylic tubing, but in the back, no one's ever going to see. But, you know, since I kind of want to have longevity, uh, low maintenance, whatever. I'm just gonna go stainless steel tubing in the front and back as well. So um, that's basically it. Just a little update of this build. If you guys got any questions, you can ask them down below. Uh, if you could, hit that like button. If you wanna see more of this build when I finish this up and start filling the water, make sure to look out for that video. Anyway, my name is Stan. I'll see you guys in the next one.